Welcome, welcome to La Coruña, to the Longin Grand Prix, the second night of the three day show here in the state of the art facilities in La Coruña and Galicia. It's just 270,000 euros to be jumped for. And here we are, the Tower of Hercules, the Roman Tower of Hercules, La Coruña. Extreme northwest of uh, Spain, straight into the Atlantic with a great history of seafaring and textiles still to this day. And here in the, the wonderful facilities of uh, Casas Novas, we're having a, a great field with some new combinations, some very well-known combinations that are going to be battling it out for the rich Longines Grand Prix. So we've 37 starters. As I said, this is the second day of the, of the show. Tomorrow there's the World Cup qualifier. Sorry, 41 starters. Um, today, in form have been very much the French riders who um, took one of the classes uh, yesterday. And today with the, this being the second day and tomorrow being the World Cup, the riders have to make a very judicious choice as to which horse they're going to be using for this formidable class. Horse builder is Javier Trenor, which uh, we saw in action two weeks ago in uh, Madrid to great effect. Again, we'll see some of his trademark here on this, uh, on this track. Now, it's been a, it's a, it's both a difficult choice for the riders, but it's also a very difficult uh, choice for the course builder. We're gonna go through the course, so we start with number one, a vertical, Prosegur vertical, going down to the second, the Massimo Dutti Oxer, and then we have 22, 23 meters of five stride, normally a five stride uh, distance to a vertical. Turning back to the Marquis de Riscal vertical with a short three strides to a very substantial Oxer, the FEI Oxer, going across to the Caixa Galicia uh, Oxer, turning back to the line, which is a vertical, five strides to the combination, oxer, one stride, vertical, two stride, oxer. Turning back then, again, very typical of uh, Javier Denor, kind of a full circle back on the NH Hotel oxer, with a dog leg, six or seven strides, to an oxer and then to uh, water with the, the water tray on the back of the vertical. Should be a five stride there. And then finishing on the double with a six stride to, to an oxer. As always with Javier, we've got a lot of turning back and also the use of very light material, especially in his vertical, very light material. And also playing with the colors, we've got a, a combination of uh, pink and gray there. Uh, the last but one fence, which uh, is bound to cause a certain amount of, uh, of a problem. But we have a great field. We've got some exciting new young horses which haven't been seen on the on the big five-star shows. And then we have some uh, very well-known faces and some some horses, some big big prize winners like Chiara uh, and Ludger Baerbaum. Ludger, who's been in terrific form over the last six weeks or so with a, with a number of different horses. Yesterday he produced a horse, a cool feeling, which uh, is a relatively new horse to him and looked a very promising horse. So. We should have a very exciting and interesting class. 
There's been a little bit of readjustment on the height of the fences, um, basically again because some of the top horses are resting for tomorrow, and then some other horses are quite young, and this is only the second time maybe in this ring. And, and um, we have a full house, uh, more than full. There's a, a very long queue at the door to try and get in. It's, um, it's an arena to very generous proportions compared to some of the other uh, indoors. It's uh, 40 by 80, which is quite big. But the public um, is fairly packed. And as I say, we have a, an over, over full horse. The first to go is uh, for Belgium. And for Belgium is... Uh, Cannabis from the book's tale, written by Dominic Hendricks. So now the first bend. Okay. Over. This is a, an extremely an exceptional eight-year-old horse, one of two that uh, Dominic is producing here. Already a winner of a hundred thousand euros. That is, uh, and just an eight-year-old. It's quite a formidable track for an eight-year-old horse. This is a, a very difficult line. Coming to the last and clear. The first rider clear. And clear well within the time. Um, now he might have made it look uh, relatively easy, but. One has to keep in mind that this is one of the very best eight-year-olds on the circuit and has the record, uh, the record to prove it. And Cannabis was second in the Grand Prix in Samarin and also won the Grand Prix in Zandhoven, a uh, three-star Grand Prix. Second to go should have been uh, Alric Charonet, but uh, he has decided not to, to withdraw. And uh, next in the ring here we have uh, Guy Williams, and he's riding the 13 year old Rouge de Ravel. Now, based in based in France, Second clear again with a, a very fast time and making the time very easy. So a slightly nervous moment for the course builder now because two out of two clear. Don't think it's 
quite as easy as those two guys made it look but two clears next another great rider uh, this so time for Brazil they have readjusted the time downwards uh, both both first horses had 68 or around 68 and uh, they've adjusted the time back from 74 down to 71. So now in the ring is uh, Yuri Mansour. He's riding the 11 year old Hunter Van Attendioff uh, by Bentley out of a Mr. Blue Mare. Only with Yuri since August, he's second in the Grand Prix in Valkenswaard and was seventh in Helsinki in the Five Star Grand Prix. Jumped a, in a smaller class yesterday for just four faults in the time fault. Listen to the combination right, it's very true. Just a straightforward five strike. That is a place where there's a, a, a choice between six and seven, seven being the, you know, the, the logical choice. Here we're, we're going to see how time adjustment has been good. He's going to have time faults. With, uh, four, two, one time four. Next in the ring we have uh, the first of the the Spanish participants. This is uh, Tam Tam du Vallon, an 11 year old gelding, French bred. Out of the Kidam de Revel Mare, uh, written by Ivan Serrano. Ivan is a very natural, very natural rider. Lots and lots and lots of talent. Uh, wouldn't wouldn't have seen very much uh, internationally, but an extremely talented rider. Very often rides difficult horses. This horse was impressive yesterday. That's been written previously by a French young rider. shorter uh, stride pattern from 9 to 10. Next in the ring is for Ireland. Michael J. Duffy from Palana, based in Germany with K. 
Carl Hanley and he's riding Chapoche. Chapoche was his ride in Madrid a couple of weeks ago. Michael Hood's had a, a great season this year. Um, part of the Madrid in Motion Global Champions League team. Michael is, uh, will not be competing in uh, Prague for the big finale of the, of the league. Really jumping. It's a winner in Verona. Also a winner in Amsterdam. As well, the time is, is good. Never made it a beautiful round. Tiene de italiano, mientras que transforma segundo aquí en Casas Novas en la Fórmula India Volker, ganador de una prueba en el Madrid de hace dos semanas. There is a second eight-year-old in the class this time. It's for Italy. Luca Maria Manetta, and he's riding Amatis Bigotti, son of uh, Diamant Semi. Won a class in Madrid, he won 25, won, was seventh in the big class in Helsinki, won the 50 class. Um, he went for the school yesterday, didn't, didn't jump great. Style. That's with a, a very short rain. Next in, in the ring for Belgium is Gudrun Petate, and she's riding Seiko's Pebbles. 
Sikos Pebbles, of course, uh, <coughs> the winner of the World Cup in Helsinki, 11 in the World Cup in Madrid, won the Five Star Grand Prix in Knocker, and was fourth in the Hickstead Grand Prix. 12 year old. Would be a, an interesting choice for Gundrun to use pebbles tonight. Um, probably might be using her other horse tomorrow in the World Cup, or I decide to use uh, pebbles both tonight and tomorrow. Of course, there's a lot of uh, a lot of money at stake here: two hundred seventy thousand purse. Jumping very well in the last month. Going home with a clear, well within time. <laughs> Our fourth clear out of seven horses. Next in the ring we have the current Spanish national champion. Gerardo Menendez, he's riding Costello DC. Costello DC is an 11 year old by Casino. Spanish bred horse. First combination of Spain will be in Madrid in two weeks here as well. And uh, that will come show is Farrago Menendez and the Lemon Old at my casino. Let's go. He's, um, he was fourth in a, in a good class in the summer show here, 1 meet 50 class, and uh, he was second in the 150 class in some part. So this is all well within his reach. the end of the track. National R2 Gustavo da Silva, and he's riding the Belgian bread in on stop on four hop. Ten year old horse with, uh, with a very with a very good record. Stand in the World Cup in Helsinki. He was fifth in the Grand Prix in Somerset. He was fourth in the Rotterdam Grand Prix. 
Yesterday he just went for a school, he did four falls in the smaller class. This is a big jumper. Arturo, who was based and worked uh, for Marcus Fuchs when he originally came from Brazil, moved to Switzerland, is now has his own operation and is now a Swiss national and has been part of the Swiss team a few times. Lucky there. Same horse tomorrow for the for the World Cup. Dominic is one of the stars of uh, last night's big class. Uh, it was a, a 1 meter 50 class with a, a very fast uh, jump off where Christian just just failed to to win. Uh, he finished second. His last to go. Just finished with it. It was a great performance with this very horse. Limoncello. Limoncello is an 11 year old stallion by Lord Coletto out of a Calido mare. Christian, who is based with uh, Ludger Berbaum. Seem to be getting more and more opportunities and making the best of the opportunities he's given. This horse is uh, very light vertical. Yeah. Yeah, it's really Now in the ring we have uh, Reggae du TR. Reggae du TR is uh, written by Julio Arias. Reggae du TR is a 13 year old by Jarnac. Bred by Madame Lejeune in uh, Normandy. As you might recognize from the name, it's uh, from the Tia stud in, in Normandy, and this uh, this horse is actually related to Micmac du Tia, uh, previously written to great effect. 
and Janine, obviously, mom's daughters. Reggae, Reggae won the Grand Prix in Bonhide in the CSI two star. This track might just suit these. He's been, since the summer, he's been making the best of the opportunities he's given. Uh, he won another class yesterday. Um, this time, Guillaume is riding Chin de la Tour. He's an 11 year old by Chin Chin out of a Narcos mare. Chin Chin was uh, one and one meter fifty in La Coruña, one and one meter fifty in Montpellier, and was third and one fifty in Madrid. So this is uh, this is really a height and a level at which he excels. Fortunately, for the pole, he did jump yesterday and. Uh, Jumped a very fast round, so obviously just a little bit flat there tonight. She's riding uh, Sandy Puyrog. Sandy Puyrog was fourth yesterday in the 1 meter 45 class. So it looks like um, there's a little, a little delay now. There she is. And that's the white face of. Sandy Puigrog, another Spanish bred horse, this time uh, by, uh, Diamant, by Diamant Semi. Laura is based in the Pyrenees in Catalonia, north of Barcelona, high up. 
this horse has been in the in the team was part of the Spanish winning team of the Nations Cup in Gijón. that can horse can um, look a little bit untidy but has lots and lots of scope and basically is very careful not careful enough for that one there is she, she got a little confused on her distances there. There's a, it's it's a very sharp turn, nearly a 90 degree turn from nine to ten, and uh, she ended up in between two distances. Going for eight. Spain, luckily, I have already two two container with uh, Julio and uh, Gerardo. He's not a very much uh, informed rider here, one that has been climbing the ranking very fast in the last months. He's a, a great team of, of horses and making great use of them. Alternates his horses, keeps them fresh. For this one, he's chosen to take Casanova de Lers. He's a 10 year old stallion by Huguenot Sitte, by a Kashmir van Schutterhof mare. Also, Junior. Very much like guy on the circuit. And despite his uh, huge size, he's uh, actually very competitive and he does win a lot of classes. Fortunately, the Marquis de Riscal came down. So we won't see him on the, in the jump off. But uh, he will be very much there uh, tomorrow for the, for the World Cup. This horse here uh, won in Liège, in Balance, and in Knocker, all over one meter fifty class. A very, very competitive horse. Coming home on four. Now for Italy, interestingly enough, uh, as Francois Jr. needs the ring, this horse is owned by Francois Jr., uh, Francois Sr., sorry, um, a nine year old by Calvador Z called Cabalgaro Z. And written by Lucia Lejeune Vizzini, wife of Philippe Lejeune. This is a, a horse that Philippe and more people think highly of. Uh, was fifth in the 1 meter 50 class in Liège recently and seventh in the Bervel de Grand Prix uh, during the summer.
Washington has developed immensely over the summer. And it's a uh, very good round here. Excellent. For Switzerland, we have Jane Richard Phillips. She's riding the nine year old Victorio de, de Grez. Uh, he is by Nabab de Rave. He was second in a good, a good class during the Global Champions Tour in Madrid. Was born and based in Italy. Be a little tight for time now. Unfortunately, it's clear, but with a time for. Very often, uh, Jane seems to have horses that are a bit strong, and unfortunately. It means that it's. Uh, a little more difficult to get them organized, which take time. In this case, just her time fault. For Portugal now. Is Luis Sabino. He's riding UNESCO de Uruguay. 10 year old by Allegretto. This horse won the, the Grand Prix in Lisbon. One of two very nice horses that uh, Lewis is campaigning at the moment. Uh, this horse jumped in Madrid. Was in the team in uh, Budapest. Yesterday, just went for a school round, had a, a time fold in the 145 class. Lewis uh, keeps, keeps finding new horses, does pass them out eventually, but uh, rarely before he brings them to the point that he feels they are showing what they can do. And this horse is a very attractive horse with an increasingly good record. Fortunately there, the straight net, a little bit off, and a toe on.
Just lacking that <laughs> little bit of luck, unfortunately, Luis. So next for Spain is uh, Manuel Fernandez. I don't know his fan fan. And uh, he's riding Isadore du Rouet. He's a 10 year old by Crusader. Uh, out of a Galoubet mare. Now, for people that are interested in breeding, this is quite unusual because the two horses that have been jumping one after each other are born the same year out of the same dam. So, um, thanks to embryo transfer, this is uh, highly possible. And as mentioned, uh, both, both of these are brothers by different sires, but uh, from the same dam. And they're both very different in type, but also very different in uh, technique. This horse was on the winning team, uh, winning Spanish team in Gijón in the Nations Cup. It was fourth in the Grand Prix in the hair. Consistently in the ribbons and in the money in the last uh, last three or four months, he's riding uh, the 15-year-old Kiara. Uh, Kiara, who has a career total of 1.3 million, no less, um, was unlucky in the Grand Prix in Madrid where. He hit the wing by drifting a little bit to the right. Very accurate jumper. And this, this class should suit, suit her down to the ground. with Spain and with Casas Novas and the Ortega family in particular, member of the Madrid in Motion team of the Global League. He's riding a new, a relatively new horse for him here. Um, horse that Eric started riding in the middle of the summer.
Joe's was previously written by Pim Mulder. Pim who won the Roman Grand Prix with this horse. This horse has a lot of ability, a lot of jump. But does have quite a look around. Tends to partnership that still needs to be cemented, especially in an environment like here where the public is very close, there's a lot to look at. So 16 falls. Sebastian Gillipson, he is riding via the Carmen Hook Z, 12 year old, by Via Veneto out of the land battle. It was written previously by Joe Clayton. Uh, Gillipson took over the ride at that time. And then the had some good placings in Oslo. It was eight in the one meter fifty class. up a little bit. Sebastian coming home for 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Duffy, Spain, we have two, we have Gerardo Mendes, and we have Julio Arias for Germany, we have Christian Coco, and then we have one for Italy, uh, Lucia Vizzini. So this is uh, the state of play, the, the clears were coming fast and furious, but uh, they dried up a little bit with uh, class with some very new combinations, some young horses, and as always, Javier uh, Trainer has set a track which requests horses that are extremely balanced, but that also are very careful with some very light material. So first, To come in now is uh, for Germany. We have uh, Philip Weishaupt, and Philip is riding La Calidad, a 10 year old by Lancer out of a Casini mare. La Calidad. Um, was eight in the Oldenburg Grand Prix. This is only the sixth show with Philip before it was written by Maximilian Bechta. Yesterday jumped him in the big class for three fences down and two time faults. As mentioned, he's one of a number of horses in this class which are horses which have changed rider. But 
therefore it, it can be a little bit work in progress as opposed to a perfect harmony. with an obvious very big jump. But tonight, more than the big jumper, one needs a very accurate jumper. One that has a lot of respect for very light material. on a total of five. Not a ten-year-old now. From the very in-form Philippard stable. Because by Cicero, 10 year old, that'll become tender mayor. There's plenty of form of this type of track. Eight in the Maastricht Grand Prix. Former winner of this uh, Grand Prix, Julien Payard, is uh, in the ring now with uh, a horse that's totally new to him. Um, Avi du Calvé. This is the, the first international show with uh, Julien. Julien was, uh, has been extremely successful there in the, the last weeks. Especially with his little horse, a uh, usual suspect. I 
This was previously written by Alexa Ferrer. Little white to get used to Junior's uh, very unique style. <laughs> Finishing with twelve folds. Dennis Lynch. Dennis is um, obviously giving, um, keeping the center fresh for for tomorrow for the World Cup, and is using again uh, a relatively new horse for him. Um, This ride from uh, Australians Chris Chuck. First fence down, a little disheartening. Uh, Dito jump most impressively yesterday um, in the 145. And then it's just decided to, to have a cut, um, but the horse got a little confused and ended up with the with a run out, but jumping extremely well. The way he jumped uh, yesterday, I would say it's a horse that we'll see a lot of. And this would be atypical for things to come. So, Dennis retires. Next for Spain again, uh, we have Paolo Amilibia, and she's riding her Prunella Dariel. Paola, who um, lives in Mexico. This combination was 7th in the GCT Grand Prix of Mexico, 12th in the Grand Prix in Gijón, 7th in the Grand Prix of Dinar. So plenty of form at Grand Prix level. Here that's been with Paula for a long time. to this only decides to retire. Clear, but this is 
very likely to change with uh, Alberto Zorsi. And he's riding uh, Vice Versa de la Rock. Bear by Canaan. the very much informed top stable. Top stable finishing one and two in the Paris Masters Grand Prix last Sunday. Edwina being first and Alberto being second. This horse won the Grand Prix in Oplebeke, two star. And was also a fourth in the Grand Prix in Zwolle, uh, three star. And for a school yesterday, just ended up with four faults in the 145 class. Second clear for Italy coming in now. Very well judged on the time as well. And there is our eight. Oh, sorry, ninth, ninth clear round. Second one for for Italy. Next for UK, trying to make it two for the UK is uh, Laura Rennick, and she's riding Dublin 5. Laura probably leaving her bigger winner, Bintang, for tomorrow for the World Cup. So she's decided to use Dublin, Dublin, who had a good show in Madrid last week or two weeks ago. Winning a 145 third in the in the six bars. Laura's been competing a lot in uh, Portugal, Villamora. This horse previously written by Anthony Condon and William Whitaker. that will have to try and win it for the UK. Another inform rider here. Mike and Max is riding Vancouver Dreams. He's a, another eight-year-old. Difficult track, difficult place for for an eight-year-old. Was second in the Stuttgart German Masters. 
fifth in the Samarin Grand Prix. Max, who has a very a lot of depth in, in his string of horses. And this horse for an eight-year-old has a remarkable record. Didn't jump very well last night. But uh, hopefully that was just being a little green and in, in what is for a nature all quite a spooky place here with the public very close to the fences. Yesterday, the horse uh, had a, a few fences down behind. Just just within the time with four falls. Now we have yesterday's winner of the big class, Olivier Robert, with this very horse, Eros. 14-year-old. Eros uh, and Olivier were on the team in Barcelona. They were fifth in the St. Gallen Grand Prix, fourth in the Maubeuge Grand Prix. They were also on the team, French team in Sopot. Uh, previously written by Timothy Ancio. that uh, Olivier had in uh, Madrid as well. Although not, not a relation to Michel Robert, Olivier is uh, extremely talented as well. Like for three years from the Bordeaux region. It looks that like he's going to try and have a double here. After last night, I begin with a with an easy, easy, straightforward, clear round. And he makes it ten, which is a, a great number for the course builder. But some very strong. Combination still uh, coming on with uh, Michael van der Vleuten, Edwina Tops, Leopold van Aston, Edu Alvarez, and Jos Valoy. But before we have for Italy, Emmanuel Godiano uh, riding Chalou. Chalou, which is a, a Chaco blue. One of the many Chaco Blues uh, jumping, but uh, this one is most probably unlike most uh, because he has a, a most extraordinary technique over over his oxers, which uh, sometimes work, sometimes uh, doesn't work. But you can see the most 
Incredible way of uh, stretching out. He'll most probably do it on the number five coming up. And he obliges. Tonight was one of the nights where it didn't work and um, decides to retire, having, having three fences down. Well, yesterday, in the same class as uh, the class that was won from Eros. to do a, a late change. He had uh, his other horse that was fought last night, with whom he was fought last night uh, in this class, but he decided to change for Dana Blue. Dana Blue that he's been very successful with and had in, in Madrid for the Madrid World Cup. Disappointing. winner of the Paris Grand Prix in California is for Australia. And we the tops Alexander and she's riding Kinsey. Kinsey by Contendro, 11-year-old stallion. Out of a full pleasure mare. Jumped a very nice schooling run yesterday, clear in the 1 meter 45. This horse has also been written by uh, Tina Nassis, who owns the horse, and uh, previous to that, Laura Club Hacking.
Another previous winner of this uh, of this Grand Prix in years gone by is uh, next to come in for the Netherlands, Leopold van den Aston. Van Aston. Yeah, he's riding VDL Group Beauty, a great 12-year-old mare by For Pleasure, out of a contender mare. in Verona, was second in the class in Balkans World, part of the Nations Cup team in Aachen for Holland, and third in the, in the Rome World Prix. Uh, jumped a competitive round yesterday in the, in the smaller class. More clear. Without going all out, so... So at this stage we have just three to jump and ten clears. And none for home to date. Most disappointing would have been a very, very competitive horse for the Jumbo. This horse is fast, and Leopold has, has been very successful in this arena. So, unfortunately, coming home on four faults. And just two to go before the jump off. So next in the ring is uh, leading rider in the international ranking, Eduardo Aznar. And, uh, he's riding Seringat, Seringat, who was on the winning Nations Cup team in Gijon, who's also highly placed in the Grand Prix of Gijon, or as previously written by Kier Gullickson and in the color. I do saving his top horse or feather for the pride. GCT likely. He's right. 
waiting for the dream in motion. Great. And the business luck. Hopefully he'll come home now. Time is going to be tight. Yes, clear. Beautifully judged. Fantastic clear. So Edu makes it 11 clears and three for Spain, which will be more than more than popular. So now last one to go for Belgium. Another very much in form rider. Jos is riding Oakwood Red. Or Oaks Redwood, I should say. Oaks Redwood uh, is a 13 year old gelding by ASB Conquistador. There's a new horse, relatively new horse to. Yos, although he's made great use out of him since he has him. He used to be written by Billy, Ra Billy Raymond for Australia. Great, fantastic. Very fast, uh, very fast here. Accurate horse, nice horse, very well, uh, very well bought by, by the Verloy family. I've never seen the horse doing a bad round since. Uh, Sentios has him under the saddle. So we're left with 12 clears in the end. But uh, Dominic Hendricks, Guy Williams, Michael Duffy, Gudrun Batet, Kira Menendez, Christian Kubok, Julio Arias, uh, Lucia Deschain, Alberto Zorzi, Olivier Robert, Edo Hansnar, and Jos Faloy.
Thank you. Welcome to La Coruña in Galicia to the Welcome to La Coruña in Galicia, the Casas Novas facilities. We're here in the extreme northwest of Spain for the Longines Grand Prix at 270,000 La Coruña, the capital of uh, Galicia. A town steeped in uh, history, both maritime and also with textile to this day, the home of Inditex, world's leading textile multiple brand company. And we're here for the jump off of what's going to be a very exciting uh, class we have. 12 clear testing course done by Javier Tenor and um, as always a very difficult twisty jump off he has designed here tonight so we're starting with the vertical the Prosegur vertical turning right which was already fence number two Number two, then going to number four, which is the Marquis Cal vertical, very flimsy little vertical, then a gallop down to an auction in the middle of Cashabanca, auction in the middle of the arena, turning back 360 degree to the Tycho vertical, relative distance to the double, which was the triple first two part of the double, then turning back to not a oxyrus drawn there but a vertical of the 
Enihache Hotels and finishing on the Longin Gallop, uh, Longin Oxer after a long gallop, and that's the finish. So we've got two 360 turn backs, one right handed, one left handed. Um, very often difficult, difficult to judge, difficult to know exactly how tight one should go. In the one case, it's related to, to a double. One has to make sure that one is in line. The distance is a, a straightforward normal five to the to the double. Uh, so the first turn back to the right after the oxer is close to the in gate, which can affect as well. And amongst the starters, there's a, an eight-year-old uh, Dominic Henriks with his very good and very successful eight-year-old cannabis guy williams and the 13-year-old rouge de ravel michael j duffy chapo che gundrun potato with a very experienced and successful uh, pebbles and then of course and the amongst the later ones there's two speed merchants and Alberto Zorsi, or three actually, Olivier Robert, who won last night a very, very first fast class, and then Jos to finish, which is at a, 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 slight, uh, a slight advantage. So, first to go is uh, Dominic Hendricks. Dominic Hendricks is riding cannabis, cannabis on the book's tail. Uh, by contacts on the Heffink out of a Concord mare. So a difficult position for him. Already an eight-year-old is it's a big task to try and win a Grand Prix with an eight-year-old and then uh, also to go first is, is not easy. So first uh, the vertical, posing a vertical, right hand down. To the big messing with the officer. Then one has to make a judgment because one has a 180 80 degree turn to the, the very flimsy Arcadia Scal. Of course, is extremely careful. One of the very top eight year olds around on the circuit. And, uh, Dominic really having a go. Second 360 turn to another flimsy. Again, beautifully done, and now to the last fence. Very fast and clear. 43.07. Well, Dominic really did put it up to the rest of them because it's an extremely fast round, um, and he left them all up. There's three verticals actually coming out of, of tight turns. So one needs, uh, above all, an extremely careful, uh, extremely careful horse. Next to take it on is um, somebody that will definitely have a have a go. On paper, should be able to do the time. The time 43:07. We'll um, we'll just check a, a couple of split times now. So now in the ring is uh, Guy Williams. Guy is riding the 13-year-old Rouge de Ravel. As he jumped number four, oh. fortunately, we won't know that. Call the horse. Uh, 
Just got a bit stallion in there. Folds and uh, six folds and forty four. In comes Michael J. Duffy with Chapo Che. Chapo Che has got the, the great round in, uh, in Madrid. Unfortunately, he missed the first day of, uh, of Madrid. He did great afterwards. And jumped a very, a very, very nice uh, first round here. Chaboche is a nine year old. Seconds. And that match will unfortunately have around 26 seconds. Thirty-seven to the last bit one fence. Unfortunately, four faults. Forty-three, thirteen. So it's slightly, slightly down on uh, Dominic, but um, obviously Dominic's time is is well beatable, and this is the first one that will that will have a go at it. Horse with a lot of form, run that is very fast. And this is a very, very fast horse. Already a Grand Prix winner this year. Should be very keen to add another Grand Prix win to, to her scorecard. That's for the winner of uh, the World Cup in, in Helsinki. Oh. Very fast time. 
Kapstadt. And all the turns. Absolutely beautifully. And the first one for Spain. In comes the, the current national championship with the Spanish bred Costello DC, Gerardo Menendez. Trying to win this uh, or beat this very fast time of 40.65. This is uh, it is a fast, fast horse, but difficult to to get the turns as nicely done as uh, what Gundren did, and with the horse keeping engaged and at the same time moving forward. Very big, little uneconomic gun on the to turn. I was driving extremely well. Oh, it's quite wide there. Forty-three twenty-two, which uh, fortunately on the jumping the the oxer, the black oxer in the center of the arena, taken uh, a big wild jump, made it very difficult for him to to have an economical turn back to the blue, which is unfortunately a little bit where he where he lost it. But a nice round. The horse jumped extremely well. So this is um, yesterday's second um, of a very fast class. Fast class that was won by another horse that's competing here, Eros. Um, Christian Kukuk. He's uh, riding Limoncello. He will definitely get his turns. Uh, the horse is, hasn't quite the same nervous energy than the Gundrun's Patate horse has. It takes a little bit more to to keep him going forward, but uh, Kukuk's riding is so accurate and so controlled that uh, the turns will be flawless. Last night he lost it a little bit on the gallop down to the last fan, so it'll be interesting to see if, if he takes a big risk tonight to that. Oh, <laughs> he just got so strong the horse decided to just uh, go for a little run with him and run straight past the, the second fan. Christian is going to go for a, a school now. So with halfway with six to go, we we have uh, Gundrun that's leading by about two and a half seconds from uh, Dominic Hendrick, so with Belgium actually one and two, Spain in three, that's the three clear rounds. And um, 
Christian finishes up with uh, plenty of time falls there, 21 penalties in uh, 70.43 seconds. Um, so now we have our second uh, Spanish rider in, uh, Julius, uh, Junior Arias. He's riding Reggae du is very competitive. He's bound to, absolutely bound to have a goal. And the horse, maybe not just quite as rideable as what the Pebbles is, so those three sharp turns will make it a little bit uh, difficult to stop the horse from uh, from drifting. And of course, one has to leave the fences up, and uh, there's some delicate fences there, three times a vertical coming out of a corner. Nothing simple about that. A little bit slower there again, a little bit big into the oxer, so it lands a bit far. But went a bit there. That's very tight. Unfortunately, too tight. Can be a little confusing for horses. <laughs> Expensive. Will you finishing in uh, six out of seven there with uh, the sixteen penalties due to the? The time falls and the penalties. So, still only seven gone. So, five, five to go. And just the three clears with Belgium one and two, Gundrun and Dominic one and two, Gerardo Menendez third, and Michael. Jay Duffy sitting nicely there in, uh, in fourth place. So next in the ring is uh, for Italy. Lucia Vicini. And she's riding Francois Matti Sr.'s Cabalgaro Z. A horse with a with a big jump. A little bit close there. Put it down. Decides to just slow down a little bit and just to try and get, get around with with four falls. It's a it's a very well paid uh, class with 270,000 euros in the pot, so the money goes down nicely. And she finishes up on four falls in 44.32, so slots just behind uh, Michael J. Duffy in fifth place. Now we get into the very serious side of the action here. And the first one to take on the challenge and take on the challenge he will is uh, for Italy. The inform Alberto Zorsi. 
just beaten by Edwino last Sunday in Paris for the, the Paris Masters. Jumped a, jumped a great first round. And this uh, Miss Avesa de La Roque, just a nine year old by Canaan, out of a Diamant de Simi mother. Has already won the, the Grand Prix, albeit the two-star Grand Prix in Nuklebeek, and was fourth in the three-star Grand Prix in Zwolle. So, just a nine-year-old. Roberto, a naturally very fast rider. Usually his first rounds are already very fast. Goes quite wide there. Was behind the clock there on uh, that fence. But got a nice deep stride there. Very easy to turn straight after. So, pity. So coming in on forty three to seven. Forty three to seven which is just between just between uh, Michael J. Duffy and uh, Lucia Lejean. So Michael is still the fastest four faults with just the three clear rounds and three left to go. And first of those three is last night's winner. And again, uh, a speech ma merchant and a very, very fast rider. For France, it's Olivier Robert riding Eros. So we just three left to go. This will definitely be the most difficult for Gundrun to to watch. Yesterday his round was absolutely superb. There was less turns yesterday. This, this is a big this is a big horse. There was a very long gallop to the last fence where he where he galloped extremely fast. Forty-one thirty-nine didn't have the time done anyway. Uh, ended up being nearly one second, uh, one second uh, slower. So Gundren has only two to to get over. Um, and in fairness, on uh, on paper, it would be very difficult for um, Seringat to to beat the time her time. Uh, 
he's a, he's a big long stride and that part would be okay but he, the multiple tight turns would go a little bit against him but he was bound to have a go in front of his public It's a huge gallop. Ooh, first fence down. That's disheartening. Beautifully written. Number four. It's probably the horse that uh, Eddie will be using tomorrow in the World Cup. So, giving a, a schooling round. Unfortunately, that leaves um, Edu on ninth place with uh, eight falls and 47, but uh, he wasn't really off. So now just one left, and it's another Belgium. So we could have uh, a Belgian podium in some sort of an order with two already uh, in the first and the second place. So the money is definitely going to go to Belgium, whatever happens. And the first two will definitely go to Belgium, whatever happens. So, yes, we'll definitely try and um, take it all. Uh, he's again, he's a, he's an experienced horse. The horse has been jumping consistently well. Is enjoying jumping for him. Uh, I haven't seen him do a bad round since he has the horse. Again, a horse that jumped for Australia in WEG and was cleverly sourced after that and which is um, suiting Jost like a glove and a very competitive horse It's a flyer to the first one. And definitely great. Most difficult one is out of the way, I think, for him. And gets a nice deep. Oh, the horse trips. Oh, that was unfortunate. Uh, it's all it's all gone wrong now. Too bad, too bad. Yeah, it's a great win, a great win for Gundrun. Not easy to win Grand Prix, and she's, um, she's winning another Grand Prix there. Um, and equally fantastic for Dominic Hendricks to, to be second in the five-star Grand Prix with an eight-year-old it's definitely not um, not simple. 
and he did it well. He put the pressure on everybody. Uh, in the end, uh, we only we only had the three um, the three the three clears. Um, great result as well for Michael J. Duffy. So from here we have there's the result. Gudrun Pate, Dominic Hendricks, both for Belgium, Virado Mendes, terrific uh, the, the national champion, uh, Spanish national championship champion. Third, it's great, great result for for him as well. Olivier Robert, yesterday's winner, had the fast four. Michael Duffy, Alberto Zorzi. Lucia Lejeune, Guy Williams, Eduardo Alvarez, Jos Roloy, Julio Arias, and uh, to finish the lineup of the jump off partakers, Christian Kokok. So, from us in uh, La Coruña, it's uh, goodbye and See you next uh, for the, the World Cup tomorrow night. Well, Gudrun Petit, congratulations on winning the Longy Grand Prix here. Gudrun, you're having an amazing year so far and adds another title. Yes, thank you. It's also because I have an amazing horse. Well, the speed, I mean, you were forced to go in that jump off and you had some big hitters coming behind you that were going to be fast. Did you think you'd done enough and who was the big danger? Um, I think there were some really fast riders in the jump off, like uh, Olivier Robert, who won yesterday. And um, so I went quite quick. I didn't have the feeling that I risked it all, but I know that my horse is really fast. So when I try a little bit, he's already quicker than the others. Which was the part, or was it overall on the course, that you felt you just nabbed the speed? Uh, I think the turns to the verticals were really short, and I think that's where I won it. Well, congratulations. Another Grand Prix on your list for this year. Thank you. Well done.
Segundo, 